So hey everybody, as you can see by my little notes there, I really wanted to get the feeling of what I saw today in the film The Artist, which is the most recent winner of Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Um, it won that recently, about two weeks ago. Uh, but anyway guys, I really wanted to talk about this film today. It's called The Artist. Um, the, the lead actor of this film, I believe his first name is Gene. I don't know his last name. Uh, he won the Best Actor Award for this film. Uh, the lead actress of this film did not win, but it did win some other awards at the Academy Awards. But anyway, guys, I really want to talk about, you know, like the storyline, what I really enjoyed about this film, and kind of the whole incident with me really having a hard time finding a flaw with this film because it is so incredibly well made. Uh, so the storyline of this film, you guys, it's about a film director in a silent film world. Uh, the whole film is present, presented as like a, it's presented like a Charlie Chaplin film in the sense that, you know, there's... Um, there's no dialogue. Uh, there is dialogue um, at one point in the story. I'm not going to ruin that, but it is incorporated at one point at the movie. Uh, don't expect a lot of dialogue in this film. Uh, but like the opening credits, for example, plays out like an old film. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting distracted. So anyway, the storyline of this film, you guys, it's about a film director who is making all these silent films. He's really successful with them. He stars in his own silent films. Um, then one day, his whole dream of continuing being this film director is crushed when he finds out that the film industry is going into talkies for their direction with their business. And being that the business is going into talkies now, uh, silent films are no longer their, their main interest of pursuing. So at this point in the film, the film director has to figure out, do I just go with the talkies? Do I still make silent films and, but risk the fact that people might not go see them now because, you know, silent films are something in the past now. They're moving on to something new. So it's this whole film is about this director trying to find this balance and what to do with himself, what to do with his career, um, what to do with all these silent films that he still has yet to make. Uh, he meets up with an actress who he was going to plan on using for one of his movies, uh, but this was around the point where um, his boss tells him, who's played by John Goodman, that he can't he can't continue making silent films. It's just not what the business is looking for at this point in time, and he has to figure out something else. He has to move on with the, the kind of movies that they want to make, and not what no longer what kind of silent films specifically. So this actress eventually um, is is having this huge career. She's moving on to talkies. Uh, I think she did have some silent film appearances before the whole talkies movement went on. So she was already famous in silent films, and now she's being huge for the talkies. And while all that's going on, this director is struggling. He's just kind of staying at the house, doing what he does. Um, he's just trying to figure out what to do with his life because the whole silent film thing isn't working anymore. Um, he's afraid of the talkies. He just doesn't like the idea of, um, you know, it kind of ruined the whole art form for him in that case because he really likes the whole silent film effect for his stories. Uh, so it's, it's about this actress who eventually teams up with this, uh, d director trying to convince him, Hey, you're this really talented man. You're this artist. That's the title. You can make these excellent stories. It's just a matter of you willing to adapt with society to um, to pursue these talkies that your audience wants to see from you now. You're, they don't want to see the silent films. You still have the capacity of being this great film director. We want to see the talkies come from you now. So this whole film, you guys, is a huge homage to silent films. There's um, For those who are really good with music and film, you're going to recognize a lot of uh, homages and similarities from other musical scores such as Vertigo, Sunset Boulevard, and some of Billy Wilder's films, or any pretty much any black and white silent film, it'll feel it'll have that same feeling with with those kind of movies. Um, the quality of this film is very good. It, it's a very crisp and clean black and white. Uh, they they perfected the whole old looking film. Uh, it does feel like something from a really long time ago. It almost feels like a Blu-ray update of an old film it, it has it, you know it, it's it's trying to feel like an old film and it does but it's nice and crisp and clean it's the way you want an old film to look like in modern day so if that makes any sense that's that's what this film feels like um 
as far as comparing this with the other Best Picture nominees, guys, I can see why this one won. Uh, it was very good. I can see why, um, you know, it won some other awards and other categories. I know Hugo kind of took the show this year. Uh, but for what the artist was able to win, it, it deserved every single one of those awards. Uh, the costumes were great. It had the feeling of an old film. The, the music felt from a long time ago, so that was very effective, very good. The acting, it was very good. Another thing that I was very impressed with with this film, and I, I really didn't quite expect this coming, but um, even when, because uh, with old films, you know, you, they, you, they see him talking like this. And then like a second later or maybe a minute later, they show a black screen of dialogue so you know what those characters were saying. Uh, so that was very accurate compared to, you know, what they do for those silent films back in the day. And what was, this film did that was very useful is it was able to show you, um, there were some scenes where they didn't even need that black screen of dialogue because you knew what was going on. The visuals were so powerful and effective in this film that there was even some scenes where they didn't even need the, the black screen of dialogue because you knew what was going on. And it was further proof that because the story was so well written, um, they didn't need as much dialogue as you expect that they would think that they would need. So that was all very effective. Uh, like I said, the music was great. Acting was great. The dog in this film was very impressive. They, You can definitely tell they spent a lot of time training this dog to do all these stunts and do what they wanted him to do in the script because they there were scenes where the dog was running down the street and keep in mind this was a pretty long run it wasn't like a it wasn't like a five second run or anything they made him run down this huge street and catch up with this other character and there were scenes where he had to do you know stunts and uh perform things that most dogs couldn't do on a stage and yeah it was it was very impressive what they had to do with this small little dog in this film so The Artist, you guys, if you have not seen it, please see it. It's an excellent film. Um, it, for those who are kind of just, you know, ignoring it because of, you know, the whole silent film thing, it, it's really good. It's, even if you're not huge into silent films, um, this film is still worth seeing because there's just so much music and acting and homages to great films that have already come out throughout the years. And uh, this film has... Like I said, I really would have a hard time pointing out something negative about this film because it was so good. So please see The Artist, you guys. They give it a 9 out of 10. It's an excellent film. Um, I would go so far as to say this is one of the better Best Picture winners since No Country for Old Men in 2007. Um, you know, Summed Up Millionaire and Hurt Locker and King's Speech were all good. But this film, I believe, knocks all three of those out of the air. This film is up there with some of the better Best Picture winners. This film is really good. I definitely plan on owning it, and I hope most of you own it and see it. Um, so The Artist, you guys, huge thumbs up from me. Make sure you see this film. Um, you won't regret seeing it. It's a very well-done film.